we would never have invited them on actually because we weren't very impressed at that time with them but it was Tuesday night Blue Jeans guest night and I had to be the compere and uh, the Beatles turned up for the evening so we would play a session and then our guests would play a session then we'd play and the Beatles would play and it was uh, it was there was a good turnout to say the least that night but I didn't want to listen to them because I just found them a big scruffy bunch and I believe that was the night that I don't know whether it was uh, Paul or George broke a string on the guitar and normally in Liverpool if you broke a string it was an unmitigated disaster you'd everybody start singing why are we waiting and everybody would getting very and trying to tune with that kind of racket going on it was almost impossible but everybody stayed quiet and I, as I say I can't remember if it was George or Paul or, or John who was sitting on the front of the stage literally sat down with their feet hanging into the into the audience changing the string on the guitar and as they were doing that there was this banter going on between them uh, like repartee and the whole audience was basically in trance including myself because they were just playing funny they were supposed to be playing music and yet they were entertaining the whole audience while changing a string on the guitar which was utter, to me it was utterly ridiculous but at the time I had to admire them for it because if I'd have broken a string when it was with the blue jeans it would have been awful but for them it was like part of the show. It was an amazing evening because it was the beginning of the Beatles charisma and we all got the fact that the Beatles had charisma and at the end of that night we were all black because those were the days when it was still coal fires so the coats were dirty and we were handling coats so when we finished that night it was very exhilarating but we were very dirty <laughs> and we still had to get on the bus and go home. <laughs> that was my first recollection of the Beatles. At that time I don't think any of, our, any of us thought they were going to be any more than uh, a very pleasant and an enjoyable period of our lives where we just, just loved playing music and the music we played everybody loved. I don't think any of us expected any, any one of us to suddenly become, you know, a, a big star. But certainly there was something special with the, with the Beatles. I had to admit that. I didn't like the idea, but I had to admit it. That they had a very special uh, connection with both people. And there's no doubt about it. John with, uh, with Paul was a very, very, uh, very strange, but a very charismatic link. And especially it was reflected in all their music. It was, it was quite remarkable, really. I don't think if the, if the two of them had been in two separate groups in another group, I don't think it would have ever happened. Mm -hmm.